Whoa. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today in the house, we have a super budget category laptop, guys. Thing is, a lot of you people have been asking in my recent videos, like, hey Vimal, can you cover some budget category laptops that is like good for students, college purpose, like useful for coding, programming, and also it should be in like budget range, guys, around like 40,000 rupees. And that is what I'll be doing exactly in this video. So the laptop we have is from Honor, guys. It's their all new Magic Book X14. And and it packs some pretty interesting features for this price point guys. So this is what we'll be unboxing and checking out in this video. So let's quickly get started with the unboxing. So our brand new Magic Book X14 laptop comes in this sort of box packaging. Very simple packaging guys, just a cardboard box. You've got the Honor branding on the front and talking about the model, well, we'll be checking out the X14 variant today guys, also available in 15 inch size also. And let me tell you, this laptop is available in like a couple of configurations. The one we have right now is the i5 variant. And let me just quickly tell you the specs of the model. And by the way, laptop is available in like two different colors. We have the Space Gray edition. The laptop comes with a 14 inch 1080p IPS display. It's powered by Intel's 10th gen i5 guys, 10 to 10 u CPU variant and has like built in UHD graphics 620. The RAM on board is 8 GB DDR4 and comes with 512 GB of PCIe NVMe SSD. So those were the main specs and highlights of this laptop and talking about the unboxing part, there is nothing much to unbox over here guys, simple budget laptop, right? So in the package, you just have the laptop nicely packed like this. You get some paperwork in the packaging, a 65 watt type c adapter for charging and a type c to type c cable included in the package that is it these are all the stuff we got in the box now let me give you all a closer look at the laptop and talk about the design and the build quality there you go guys, a brand new Magic Book X14 from Honor. This is how it looks like. And you know, design looks quite nice from my initial impressions. And just look at the thickness and the weight also guys, super lightweight and compact. This laptop weighs only around 1.38 kgs and look at the thickness. It's only around 15.9 mm guys. So very nice looking from my initial impressions. And talking about the design guys, very minimalistic and looks quite class and premium. You just have the Honor branding over here and that's it nothing else on the top plate it's got a matte sort of finish and good thing is it doesn't attract fingerprints also that much and talking about build quality build quality of the laptop looks very good entire body made of aluminum guys metal body definitely gives you like a premium sort of feel at this price point so let me just give you a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports on it starting off from the left side there's a type c port for charging charging status indicator is there a usb type a port but this one is usb 2.0 guys keep that in mind and you've got a full size HDMI port available. Now moving over to the front side, here you've got dual front facing microphones, so quite useful for like, you know, video calls and stuff like that. Now heading over to the right side, here you've got some more ports which include a 3.5mm audio jack and a USB Type-A 3.0 port is there. So this one is super speed but on the other side you've got like a 2.0 port. And this is how the laptop looks from the bottom side guys. You've got large rubber foot pads and there's also an exhaust to let the heat escape and keep it running cool and has like single fan solution on the inside and you see these two grills on the extreme corners these are your down firing stereo speakers and that is it guys talking about the upgradability part see the variant we have right now comes with 8 gigs of ddr4 ram and 512 gb pci nvme ssd but unfortunately the ram on this laptop is not upgradable it is soldered on board so while buying only you'll have to choose whether you want 8 gigs or 16 gb so keep that in mind so that is pretty much it guys. So what I'll do is I'll quickly open up the laptop and show you how the interiors of this thing look like. And there you go guys. This is how the Magic Book X14 looks like. Oh boy, laptop looks quite beautiful for this price point, right? Coming to the display guys, first of all, display looks very beautiful thanks to this ultra slim bezels. As I've told you, it comes with like a 14 inch 1080p IPS display. And now you might be wondering like, are bezels are very thin and I don't see a camera, right? Well, webcam is not on the display guys. It's actually hidden in the keyboard. So this thing actually features like a pop-up camera in the keyboard guys, and you can access the webcam just like this. Clicking on this special button will make the camera pop out. Now that looks something very interesting, right? We'll come to there and talk about the webcam quality also at a later part in the video. So what I'll do is I'll quickly give you all like a closer look at the keyboard and touchpad and talk about that. 
The Magic Book X14 features a white LED backlit chiclet keyboard and quality of the keyboard was good. I've been using it for the last few days, right? The keycaps were nice. Key quality was also nice, feel tactile and clicky. And you can even adjust the backlight brightness in three steps directly using the function key. But I do have to mention it lacks a couple of shortcut keys like page up, page down. These sort of functions are not available on this keyboard. And coming over to the touchpad, touchpad quality is also nice. It features a large size touchpad and I didn't face any sorts of dead zones anywhere it was easily recognizing all my inputs and gestures and quality of the built-in buttons were also nice and not to forget laptop also has a fingerprint scanner built into the power button itself and fingerprint scanner on this laptop was like pretty fast guys so definitely a plus point for a budget category laptop now before moving on and talking about the display quality, first of all let me tell you that it's a budget category laptop so don't expect a lot from it guys. Now for this price point it was doing a good job. As I've told you it comes with a 14 inch 1080p IPS display. So 1080p resolution, good amount of detail guys, everything looks crisp and clear at 14 inches. And talking about colors, colors are also nice. It was producing like decently good colors, supports 45% NTSC color gamut range and you'll definitely have fun watching movies or any sort of content on Netflix. Now don't expect things like 100% sRGB gamut or maybe like producing accurate colors. Nay bhai, this is a budget category laptop and for this price point it was doing a good job. And talking about the contrast levels that was also fine, black levels are also decent and brightness now this laptop has around like 350 nits of brightness. So TK guys it will get your job done. I didn't face any issues even in like brightly lit rooms. And on the overall guys you'll be quite happy with the display on this laptop for this price point. And now talking about the speaker quality, speaker quality was also like pretty good. It's got like side firing stereo speakers, right? And it was producing like good clarity, minimum distortion and audio output is also like decently good. Now let me tell you about the special webcam on this laptop. So usually webcams are found at the top of the laptop screens, right? But on this particular model, since the bezels are like very thin, they couldn't fit in a webcam over here. And instead they actually, you know, implemented the webcam in the keyboard guys. And if you want to access that, you have a special button over here. You just need to press this button like this and there you go, camera pops out from the keyboard. Very innovative design guys. And also gives you like good privacy options because it hides the camera completely when you're not using it. But I do have to mention webcam quality and especially the camera angle placement was not that good. See, usually when the camera is at the top right, it directly faces your face. And on top of that, you can adjust the display like this and adjust the camera angle easily. But over here, the camera angle is placed at a very weird position, guys. And because of that, it was not facing my face when I was using the webcam. By default, camera's angle was looking at my chest and the lower area. So ideally, very innovative design, but practically it doesn't work that good. Now comes the main part of this video guys, performance of this laptop. MagicBook X14 is available in like two variants. It's powered by Intel's 10th gen CPUs guys available in i3 and i5 variant. We have the i5 edition and on board we have like i5 210U CPU which is a 4 core 8 thread CPU clocked at 4.2 gigahertz. Pair that with 8 gigs of RAM and 512 GB NVMe SSD. You can do most of your office related or maybe like college related projects or works very easily on this laptop. I did run a couple of benchmarks as well. On Geekbench 5, we got a single core score of around 1065 and a multi core score of around 2634, which is like pretty decent for this price point, guys. And let me tell you see, I've been using it for the last couple of days, right? And I had like a very smooth and swift experience with this laptop. No matter even if you open like 8 to 10 Chrome tabs at the same time, also, one of them watching YouTube videos, one of them having like mails and websites and other stuff running in the background, I didn't face any sorts of slowdowns, guys and laptop was handling very well all of these tasks. Now you can use the laptop for some creative sort of works as well like Photoshop or editing and these sort of stuff but don't expect you can do like heavy workload related stuff. Nay, basic college stuff like programming, coding, ho jayega, not an issue at all. Photoshop can also be done and basic 1080p video editing is also possible. And talking about the gaming performance, see this is not like a dedicated gaming laptop right so don't expect you can play like AAA title games at 1080p resolution. No, you can't do that. You can only play like simple casual games like maybe you know Rocket League or maybe like Doom Eternal or maybe like GTA 5 at 720p resolution at lowest graphic settings and you can get around like maybe 35 FPS or 40 FPS. This is the kind of result you can get on this laptop. 
We're almost coming to an end, so let me tell you about the battery life. Now, initially, I had like a lot of expectations, but after my usage, I felt battery life on this laptop is like mediocre, guys. It's powered by a 56 watt hour battery, and on an average, with the screen brightness set to like 60%, and doing applications like, you know, running Chrome tabs, and checking out your mail, and also doing a bit of Microsoft applications like Word and PowerPoint, I was getting around like 9 to 9.5 hours of battery life. But not to worry, the laptop supports 65 watt fast charging and can rapidly charge from 0 to 100. So that is pretty much it guys, my video on Honor's brand new Magic Book X14. You're getting a 1080p IPS panel guys, which is a great display at this price point. Speaker quality is also fine and good performance thanks to that Intel's 10th gen i5. And on the overall, you'll be like quite satisfied with the results. But here are a few cons I felt during my usage guys. First of all, you've got like limited connectivity ports on it as I've told you during the unboxing part itself. Second thing is pop-up camera on this laptop has a weird angle guys and in practical world of usage it's not that useful and third thing is it's got a bit of heating issue on board guys so what happened is when you do a bit of intensive tasks or maybe like play games and push it to the limit right laptop starts heating quite a bit especially on the left area guys region above the keyboard and you could definitely feel the heat in your hand or even if you place it on your lap so this is something you'll have to keep in mind the laptop pricing starts at around 36,000 rupees for the i3 variant and our i5 variant costs around like 46,000 rupees in India. I'll leave links for both of these in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed and got to know everything about this model. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.